Hi, I'm Logan Crockett here with another video from Marketing for Normal People. If you're working on marketing projects, or any projects really, you're going to be using a lot of hard drives for all kinds of different creative work. And whether it's an external drive like this, or a flash drive, or an SD card, it's best to change their names so that you can tell them apart and always know what project you're working on. Now, there are two ways to do that. So let me take you here into my computer. I have the external hard drive already plugged in and so we can see it right here in the side now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a new finder window so I just click file new under finder and then I'm gonna go to applications right here and I'm going to scroll down to utilities I'm gonna click on that and then I'm going to click on disk utility right there so I'm gonna double click on disk utility uh, you can also access disk utility um, through any application launcher on your Mac but that's an easy way to do it what I just showed you anyway we can now now see our external hard drive right here uh, under external in the sidebar so if I click on that what we can actually do and this is assuming that it's maybe a brand new drive and you want to you haven't done anything with it yet um, so oftentimes you're going to want to erase it and potentially reformat it and I'll show you how to reformat drives in another video but um, but erasing it is actually one of the simplest ways to rename your hard drive so what we can do is we can click on a race right here and then um, it'll ask me to put in a new name it'll ask me what format you want it in on most in most cases on a mac you want apfs there might be other reasons to do another type of format but you would typically want to keep it as apfs so if it's already apfs go ahead and leave it at that and then as you can see here it's asking me for a new name so i can just call it logan's project and then I can click erase and then it would get rid of all the files on that drive. And I don't want to actually do that because I have some important files on here. But anyway, you get the idea. Once I would click erase, then it would go ahead and erase the drive and it would have the new name. So that's one way to do it. And again, that's really good if you just got a new drive uh, because erasing is typically a, a step you want to do anyway. Sometimes they come with a few files um, just from the manufacturer that you don't need. And so erasing is a really good thing to do if you got a brand new right out of the box um, but there is another very very simple way to rename a hard drive and so if we go back to this finder window um, and if I actually just click on the hard drive right here and then if I right click so on my Mac trackpad I'll use two fingers so I'll just use two fingers here you can also um, press down the control key and then click on it just like that anyway and so what you can do is you can go down here and you can click rename and it'll say the name of your current hard drive. So rename SanDisk Extreme SSD. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then you can see that this just changed to blue uh, showing that I can edit it. And so I'll just say Logan's project. I'll type that in and then I'll hit my return key. And now you'll actually see that the name changed right here and the name changed right here. But in some cases, the name actually doesn't change right in the side right away. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click eject. And then I'll go ahead and I'll just plug the drive right back in, just like so. All right, and so now you can see that it says Logan's project. So it did indeed change the name of the drive. It just needed to be ejected in this case in order for that name to show up. So all right, that is two very simple ways to change the name of your hard drive. So that way you can keep track of different projects, especially if you have multiple drives. And so anytime you ever get a new hard drive, make sure that you rename it. We're here to help you with your journey in tech and marketing, no matter where you're at. And so for another hard drive tutorial, you can go ahead and click right here and as always if you want my free marketing crash course where i cover the new fundamentals of modern marketing that drive awareness grow an audience and get people to buy from you go to marketingfornormalpeople.com or click or scan right here catch you later